In a world of many possibilities, we only ever get to experience one of them at a time. On the odd occasion, we may bear witness to something strange, maybe even a parallel universe which exists alongside us. And according to science, we may not be far off from proving such a theory. Number 5. A parallel universe refers to a well-known concept in science fiction. Although the theory is not widely accepted in the scientific world, it is gaining ground. This idea fits in with quantum mechanics, suggesting that there's a world existing alongside ours, except far more complex than that. Parallel universes resemble some similarities with ours, with minor inconsistencies throughout, or are either years in the future or years in the past. It can be theorized that these realities exist in a faster or slower time stretch. This idea is not only unique to cities or towns, as the following incident suggests, but can also consist of planets and galaxies and people. There exists an infinite amount of parallel universes which reside alongside one another, ones that we've not yet been able to perceive or observe, except of course for a select few. In simple terms, the small things which exist in our universe influence the larger things, such as the atoms which us and everyone else consist of. The atoms are made of other particles, one such being electrons. Electrons are known to spin and move in a number of different ways, and the same thing is said to happen with the multiverse. In the recent year of 2015, in mid-October, an influx of news reports and video flooded in, reporting a strange incident which occurred in China, the city of Foshan in the Guangdong province. A floating city was seen in the sky above Foshan, sparking mild fear in the citizens. One citizen was able to capture the popular video of the cloud formation, which resembled a city skyline of skyscrapers and buildings. This event suggested the presence of alternate realities, stating that the floating city may have been a quick peek into a different universe, a futuristic one which finds itself creating cities in the clouds. Thousands of Chinese citizens bore witness to this strange encounter. The video quickly gained millions of views on YouTube and brought out other conspiracies, one such being that the cloud city had been the result of a Project Bluebeam test orchestrated by NASA in an attempt to start a New Age religion. A hypothesis suggested that China had tested holographic technology to gain the public's reaction. Of course, these theories did not gain as much support as that of the parallel universe. Another attempt was made to explain away the otherworldly event. This stated that what the citizens had witnessed was a phenomenon known as Fata Morgana, which is a mirage of many objects which are distorted and begin to resemble castles. Yet this particular incident did not fit the criteria of a castle formation, but rather modern buildings. A Fata Morgana is created when warmer air sits on colder air. Although many similar occurrences have been reported of floating boats and double mountains, a whole city suddenly appearing out of nowhere seems a little more unusual. Strangely, only one video exists of this glimpse into another world, and no witnesses came forward to speak about what they saw. But should they need to? Since thousands had seen the Cloud City, it hardly seemed necessary to speak of it any further. The apparition also dispersed rather quickly, leaving not much time for others to have pulled out their phones to get the video, and those who did felt no need to release it online. A few days after the event, a similar one occurred in Jiangxi, alarming the citizens of China again. These were not the only two floating cities finding their way above provinces in China. This happened again the following year on March 18th of 2016. A collection of buildings had been reported and recorded. This was again passed off as a mirage of sorts. In the images released, the windows of the buildings could clearly be seen. It appeared that the city was floating casually in the sky or as theorized by the citizens, a portal to another dimension had been opened again. This report came from the Liaoning province in China. In January of 2017, another incident was reported. The appearance was similar to that of 2015 with the cloud city in the sky. This occurred near Yueong City in the Hunan province. Claims circulated suggesting that a parallel universe may be making an accidental intrusion into ours through some sort of interdimensional portal. This was scientifically disputed using the excuse of radiation fog. 
Many witnesses were able to capture images and videos and collectively released them on the internet. Each of these accounts stated that a thick, eerie fog accompanied the sky cities. Guangdong, Hunan, and Jiangxi, where the incidents were reported, are within close proximity to one another, the exception being the case of Liaoyang, which finds itself quite a distance away. These reports had been months apart from each other. The October 2015 case was five months apart from the March 2016, and the March 2016 was 10 months apart from January 2017. Could the area of China act as some sort of gateway that opens up every few months to reveal the other world? A similar event took place on the south coast of England above Hastings. Although the image itself is not exactly clear, a distinct ring of light can be seen, and in front of it there appear to be buildings. This time it resembles castles instead of skyscrapers. In Orange County, another cloud city was seen by citizens. Other reports of such accounts have surfaced, such as sky cities and alien forests appearing in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado before they quickly vanished again. These had been accompanied by a thick fog surrounding the apparitions, just like before. It's easy to pass off anything incomprehensible as a mirage or a hallucination, but even scientists have reason to believe that a parallel universe could possibly exist. Our universe is only one piece of a giant puzzle, so anything is possible. One of the most well-known scientists was Stephen Hawking, and he produced a theory on the matter of parallel universes. He stated that black holes and wormholes could be the very thing that connected all the infinite universes parallel to ours. As later discussed, different universes may be branching off from ours, or dimensional rips could be taking place resulting in these sky castles and cloud cities only lasting momentarily as it settles like a sheet of paper on top or next to ours. Through many reports of parallel universe encounters, one thing remains somewhat consistent, the weather conditions. Often, these accounts took place after or before some extreme weather was experienced. In June of 2017, another incident occurred, again in China. This time, it had been in the north-central area of the Ningxia region. A video of a slowly vanishing cloud city found itself in Wuzhou. Over 100 millimeters of rain had been recorded on the afternoon of June 6th, and it was accompanied by a hailstorm. This, of course, was quickly passed off as another mirage. However, most strange phenomena, such as time traveling and ending up in an unfamiliar place, have all seen strange weather patterns before the eventual act. It would not be considered out of place if weird weather accompanied what is said to be the splitting of the universe. This only supports such a theory even more. Perhaps these areas of China are more susceptible to being able to view the splits due to their air quality or are situated on another unidentified plane where the splits may originate or at least do so more frequently. The science behind such a phenomenon is still an ongoing study. Although many great scientists have given their take on the matter, Nothing has been proven as of yet, because even at our most advanced phase, we've been unable to replicate the splitting of a universe and witness the effect that it may have. This forces the concept of parallel universes to remain a very strange mystery, and may continue as such for the remainder of the universe, or perhaps it was proven in a different universe. In the future, we may bear witness to more floating cities presenting themselves through an accidental reveal or maybe even intentional, depending on the path it's set to follow. We know now, for next time, not to be too alarmed. It's only the overlapping of universes, after all. Number 4 Throughout the course of history, many stories have surfaced regarding human doubles and out-of-body experiences. This strange phenomenon makes up part of the science fiction genre. These doubles are known as doppelgangers, and genuine reports have surfaced outside of the storybook realm along with the out-of-body events. One such case was that of a British Parliament member, Sir Frederick Roche. Sir Frederick had been a British conservative politician. He was supposed to be an attendee of the parliamentary debate in 1906, however he'd been bedridden due to a sudden onset of influenza. But things began to get strange from here. During the debate, another member and friend of Sir Frederick, Sir Gilbert Parker, had spotted Frederick. Parker is surprised by this, but pleased, and decides to sit beside his fellow member. He greeted Sir Frederick but was met with no response or acknowledgement, and even told Frederick that he hoped he was feeling better. He continued to focus on the current debate. 
When he turned to look at Sir Frederick again, he was gone. The seat was now empty. Gilbert looked in the lobby for the man but couldn't find it. He mentioned this to other members of the parliament and they too had seen Sir Frederick at the debate throughout the course of it, including future Prime Minister Sir Henry Campbell Bannerman. Sir Henry Macy Thompson had also been in search of Frederick but to no avail. Gilbert recalled that Frederick was looking pallid and had a steely expression. Before the debate began, the umpire had informed the parliament of Sir Frederick's influenza, which had developed into neurosis. When Frederick was informed of this event, he'd been somewhat surprised but stated that he really wanted to attend this debate, furthering that it must have been his spirit that went to the meeting instead. The members believed that the apparition had been of Frederick's ghost as well, thinking that he had succumbed to influenza. This had obviously not been the case. He accepted the congratulations from his fellow colleagues before returning home and telling his family of the event that occurred while he was sick in bed. This reportedly made his family miserable. A more detailed account was published in the local newspapers, stating that the apparition was accompanied by a suspicious vapor. Bilocation is described as a mystical phenomenon which allows a person to be projected as a double into a different location and is visible to other people. This concept is sometimes referred to as multilocation. Throughout history, this phenomenon has been documented throughout religious texts and historical writings. Some of the noteworthy examples of this are that of St. Anthony of Padua, Padre Pio and Pope Clement XIV, as well as the ancient Greek philosopher Pythagoras. It's believed that such an event can only be explained through a physical ability, which is the result of a supernatural power. In one of these cases, Philip Neri reportedly felt his heart enlarge as he experienced a bilocation and found that afterwards he would have ongoing palpitations. The reports go on throughout history regarding well-known people. It's said that bilocation can be spontaneous or accidental, and such may be the case of Sir Frederick. It can also be intentional and require concentration. Dimensional shifts are another scientific explanation for such an event. This concept, like bilocation, is not well understood just yet, as it's a strange phenomenon. The general idea of a dimensional shift is where a person transports to another place through folded space transport, also known as a shift of a universe on a different dimensional plane. In 2017, a deciphering of dimensional shifts was explained through a media. She listed that one may feel off balance or lightheaded or experience ringing in the ears. According to the medium, during the year of 2017, we were experiencing a dimensional shift, which is possibly the cause of some of the strange occurrences, such as the floating city in the Hunan province. She explained that if one is sensitive to the energy, they may be more susceptible to dimensional changes and out-of-body experiences. If Sir Frederick had been ill at the time of his bilocation incident, he could have been more vulnerable to such changes. She also further explains that she was able to purposefully allow herself to travel out of body to other locations. Sir Frederick did not seem too surprised when he was informed that his double had been seen at the debate, so perhaps he was one of these few individuals who were able to travel through different universes intentionally, which is why he laughed off the entire ordeal. The onset of influenza could have also been an indicator that he would soon experience a dimensional shift since it's been reported that many of those who have gone through this have had some sort of problem either afterwards or before, such as heart palpitations, inflammatory issues, or flare-ups of autoimmune diseases, as well as broken bones and dizziness. Quantum mechanics explains that a particle can be in more than one place at the same time. Additionally, particles can become entangled, or they share a state even if they're separated by many years, where one state could affect the other in some way. This produced the phenomenon called wave function collapse, where looking at a particle in one state can cause them to collapse into each other. This has become known as the Copenhagen interpretation. There exist many other quantum physics interpretations. One such is the many world interpretation, which is part of the explanation of Sir Frederick's incident. This interpretation states that people and particles exist in various states which are divided into different worlds or universes so that they're not able to perceive one another. Of course, with such encounters happening, the universes do not always contain their particles, allowing the occasional slip through such as with Frederick's apparition, as so explained in the physics of it all. Sometimes these universes interact when the act of world splitting is underway. 
all these copies that exist in these universes are supposed to follow a certain path, and sometimes these paths bump into each other, momentarily allowing a peek into that universe. Whether it's floating cities in the sky, or strange apparitions and doppelgangers, all of these have a common ground, and that's that they're not of our immediate world. Such a situation is one incredible mystery, and is often credited to aliens and otherworldly beings. However, science always seems to have an explanation. The YouTube channel Brightside is a great way to find out more about such topics, including the science behind parallel universes. One such video is called Scientists Believe a Parallel Universe Exists. Number 3. A doppelganger refers to a living double of a person, and apparently everyone has one. This is different from the apparition as seen in the case of Sir Frederick Roche, which fits in with the bilocation criteria. This is where one is able to project themselves as a physical apparition in a second location. Similar cases have been continuously documented throughout history opening the suggestion of the existence of a parallel universe. An incident which aligns more with the doppelganger phenomenon was that of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, an 18th century poet. Johann Wolfgang is considered to be one of the most important literary figures in German literature, poetry and playwriting, and is a well-known novelist. This case may suggest that doppelgangers have something to do with dimensional shifts and parallel universes. Johann believes that he met his doppelganger many times throughout his life. On one of these occasions, he'd been riding his horse deep in emotional thought of whether or not he should break up with his girlfriend with whom he was having an affair. Suddenly, he saw another rider approaching. As the second figure approached, Johann noted that the man looked a lot like himself but older, wearing a grey suit trimmed in gold. The idea soon faded out of his mind as he continued his journey. Eight years later, Johann returned to the same road, traveling in the opposite direction, and again he saw a man approaching on a horse, and this time it was a younger-looking version of himself. He recounted the day eight years prior when he had seen a man who looked like him, and soon realized that he had been wearing the same clothes as well, the gray suit with gold trim. Johann had witnessed himself in the future, and then several years later, in the past. In a separate incident, Johann had seen his friend Frederick Bryant, walking down the street wearing Johann's green nightgown. Upon entering his house, he found that the same friend was in the living room, wearing the same gown. She'd explained that she had borrowed the gown while waiting for her clothes to dry after being caught in the rain. This entails that Johann had not only seen his own doppelganger twice, but had also seen other people's human doubles. Johann Wolfgang had written in his autobiography, Poetry and Truth, which is about his confrontation with his human double. In this, he explained the story of where he was traveling to the city of Drusenheim when he came across his older self. He also writes that the memory had brought him comfort after he and his young love had separated. A similar occurrence happened to Guy de Maupassant, a French novelist. His encounter had inspired him to write a story titled Lou, with a question mark, translating to he. According to Guy, while in his study writing a story, a man looking exactly like him entered the room and sat right next to him and began to dictate the story which he'd been in the process of writing. The story followed the incident of a young man who believed he was going insane after seeing his human double. Guy later confessed that he had seen his double on many different occasions. Although many early writers have claimed that an entity had helped narrate their work instead of inward thoughts, could the same be said for Guy, or did he find himself in a dimensional shift? It's reported that later on in life, Guy became insane and lived the remainder of his life in a psychiatric facility. However, none of the other dimensional shift victims mentioned here had a history of mental illness, meaning that Guy's madness may have been unrelated to his doppelganger, or being haunted by his human double may have pushed him to insanity. In the scientific field of multiverses, it's also explained that many versions of ourselves exist, each making different decisions. So it wouldn't be entirely incorrect to say that Guy and Wolfgang had experienced this exact thing, accidentally, when the universe was midway into a split. With regards to the decision making, Wolfgang, if you remember, had been deep in thought, contemplating an emotional breakup when this incident occurred. This tough contemplation may have birthed his double who was returning from ending that very same relationship he'd been thinking about. To put it into perspective, if the path which our quantum particles follow is a one-dimensional curve in a four-dimensional space-time, 
the quantum analog would be a two-dimensional surface in a five-dimensional space-time. The fifth dimension would be representing the different worlds or histories, and the first dimension was time. The fifth dimension would then relate to the infinite possibilities which the particles can inhabit, whereas time in the first dimensional space would be the past or future. When contradiction occurs within this sheet, the life of the individual or particle is split in two and branches off in separate ways. This can be used to explain Wolfgang's incident. Two of his realities had followed along the same path. One came from the future, the other from the past. At exactly the same time, he ended up bumping into one another. A similar explanation can be applied to Guy's encounter as well, except his occurred more frequently. Somewhere in his life, Guy must have been subject to some form of contradiction, which offset the paths of his other selves, causing them to frequently appear to one another. Other stories such as these exist throughout history, making it difficult to pass off as just some made-up tale. It's also inaccurate to play the crazy card when someone reveals their encounter since many of these people have been of sound mind aside from a select few. The evidence of parallel universes is overwhelming, but to prove such a concept, it would certainly take some time or perhaps we'll never know. Maybe some things are better off left as a mystery and without further disturbance. Number 2 Sometimes visiting old hometowns can send us back to a different time. This is not always the case though. On occasion, the towns we once knew can be changed to an entirely different state. Probably because it is. One such case follows the parallel universe encounter of Carol Chase McKelleny. In March of 2006, Carol had been on her way home to Paris, California from San Bernardino to attend a sheepdog trial show. On her way there, she came across a sign which read Riverside. This had been the way to her old hometown where she had grown up. She had realized that it had been quite some time since she had been in her family's hometown and decided to take a detour and revisit the place she grew up. It was not long before Carol found that this was not the right place, although its location was accurate. She had found that the street she grew up on looked different. According to Carol, she was unable to locate her house or any other familiar house. All of them were different, and not just in reference to the paint jobs. Each had been differently structured as compared to how they looked back when she was a child. It appeared that her old neighborhood didn't exist. To find some sense of familiarity, Carol tried to find the street on which her grandmother lived. However, when she got there, she found that this area had too undergone some sort of alteration. She then ventured to find the cemetery where her grandparents had been buried, but the cemetery was gone. There was nothing there but an empty plot of land which was overtaken by grass and weeds. McKelleny tried to calm down by telling herself that there must be some issue with the map, and from there, she decided to find University Avenue a place she knew quite well where local restaurants and other businesses would be found. There, she found that the area had changed entirely and the streets had been subject to all kinds of graffiti and garbage littered most of the area. As she continued to drive on, she began taking note of the townspeople. She was overcome by a sense of fear and made the wise choice to not exit her vehicle. An inside voice told her that if she spoke or had any interaction with the residents of Riverside, that she would be stuck there forever. Panicked, Carol fled the town and continued on her way to Paris. A couple of years later, the woman's father had passed away. He wished to be buried along with the other relatives at the cemetery in Riverside. When they traveled through to the neighborhood to lay the man in his final resting place, Carol found that everything in the town was as it once was when she had grown up there. After this strange incident, she believed that she'd visited a much darker parallel universe of her old hometown. Up until recently, it was regarded that the universe referred to one singular containment of everything known to man. However, a theory was produced in 1954 by a Princeton student named Hugh Everett, and he produced the first ever theory of the concept of multiverses. He suggested that the universe was continuously going through a split, and those splits would become their own universe, just on a different plane. This could explain what Carol experienced. Her town may have been one of the many areas that was in the process of a split when she entered it, which is why it appeared to be normal when she revisited years later. Everett's theory is now known as the multiple worlds theory. Although many hypotheses exist in regards to the multiverse, Everett's seems more unique. His idea visualizes a flowchart which branches into new areas continuously, 
where many different decisions, ideas, and events are taking place, but are still connected by a common factor. In fact, we may all be traveling to a parallel universe on a daily basis without even knowing it. It just takes specific instances such as Carol's to be able to see it. Similar encounters such as Carol's have been well documented throughout the years. And the more stories that surface aid in support that this concept is not something that can only be found in storybooks and science fiction films. With similar events taking place around the world, it's hard to ignore that something strange is definitely going on. Whether it's parallel universes, the universe splits, alien invasions, or some secret government testing, which results in these strange phenomena. Number 1 There are many different encounters and stories that suggest we don't just exist in one particular dimension. One such case is that of Pedro Oliva Ramirez. Pedro's case is one of the most famous cases of someone who's traveled to a parallel universe. In the year 1986, on the 9th of November, Pedro Ramirez, an industrial expert, had been driving to his home in Spain. In the initial part of his journey, everything seemed to be in order. That was, up until he went around a curve and found himself on a strange unknown highway with six lanes that were not there before. Pedro became startled and began paying more attention to his surroundings. This is when he saw the modern 20-story buildings and apartments that were not there on previous journeys, as well as many other buildings that also appeared unfamiliar to him. He saw a large plot of plain grassland, which had not taken up space until that day. Tall grass had popped up there, and eventually he began to feel a rising heat invading the car, consistent with a completely different climate. Or perhaps it was consistent with fast traveling through to another dimension. It's reported that he began to hear strange voices in the distance, and they were talking in a language that Pedro didn't recognize. However, one of them confirmed that he had in fact been transported into another place in the universe that resembled similarities and inconsistencies to where he was supposed to be. Static radio noise had been heard as well. He continued along the strange highway before pulling over and walking along the edge of the road. He noted that the vehicles which passed him by did so in exactly eight minute intervals between each and what's even more odd is that the cars had all been old Cadillacs and earlier vehicles. Pedro returned to his car and drove for another hour where he eventually found a sign. The sign hosted three different names pointing in three different directions. Malaga, Sevilla, and Alcala were the names. He decided to go on the Sevilla road and suddenly stopped driving without reason. When he looked over, he realized that he was outside of his home. He was confused and decided to retrace his steps, but found that the three signs were gone, and so was the crossroad and even the six-lane highway. Pedro had traveled this journey for three hours, when it usually only took him half an hour. According to the reports, Pedro had grown up in Seville and would often take a trip to Alcala, so he knew the two-lane road rather well. Similar to the story of Carol, who also knew her hometown like the back of her hand, it seemed that this was another parallel universe shift, which may have some sort of relation to the Cloud City phenomena. The openings of a world which revealed themselves only for a short amount of time. The amount of time needed to name someone as crazy or unstable or pass it off as just a figment of their imagination or perhaps a mirage. Researchers from Oak Ridge National Laboratory are in the process of proving the existence of a parallel universe. Their test may be able to explain some of the events that Pedro experienced, such as the heating of his vehicle. The team's idea was to blast some subatomic particles through a 50-foot tunnel, past a magnet, and into a wall. If those particles come through on the other side as a mirror image of themselves, that would prove the existence of parallel universes. Except it would be far more complex than that. If the same thing happened in Pedro's car, where he was being blasted through some sort of tunnel teleportation system, that could explain the heat that he felt inside the vehicle at the time. Additionally, the tunnel may have been caused by the splitting of the universe, as suggested by Everett's theory. If these scientists are successfully able to mirror particles, that means that protons, neutrons, and so forth can be mirrored as well, which is exactly what could already be happening naturally. According to the Many Worlds Interpretation and the Pilot Wave Theory, each time a subatomic particle goes through an interaction, a new parallel universe may form. Our universe is seen in quantum physics as one huge equation, which is known as a quantum wave function. These interpretations suggest that if a process occurs within the universe of quantum origin, 
the wave function splits in two, creating more and more parallel universes. Such could have occurred when Pedro was driving through to his destination. However, a more supported idea refers to the previously mentioned theory of pathways. These extra worlds and duplicate particles have a set path which they're destined to follow. However, if a quantum process occurred that momentarily offset or changed the pathway of this particular universe, that would explain the sudden transportation into another realm experienced by Pedro, also accounting for his car heating up and the voices he heard. Theoretically, the indistinguishable voice that was heard could have been the result of the universe splitting, the voices being that of the residents of one of the worlds that were in the process of being branched off. Or the voices were simply a strange static disturbance, which was a result of the world suddenly ripping, which would most likely produce some sort of an odd sound. This is supported by Schrodinger's equation, and the theory where he explains that each particle is on a different wave function, and they constantly evolve over time. When these particles interact, the wave functions momentarily overlap with each other, resulting in an event such as the cloud cities and Pedro's unfamiliar universe. Once these wave functions overlap, the particles become linked, and a single wave function now describes both of the particles at the same time. This is called a quantum entanglement. If one set of particles becomes entangled, this may set off a whole lot more of them following the same path, leading to one wave function left to interpret the entirety of all the particles. One of the out-of-place features of this story would be the passing of the cars in 8-minute intervals. The time gap was rather precise. Pedro's story, of course, gained a lot of skeptics who believed that it was entirely made up. But what would he have to gain from his elaborate story aside from being deemed a crazy person? This well-known story was one that sparked open a doorway into the concept of parallel universes and remains one of the strangest universe mysteries. That is, until the theory of parallel universes is proven which is well underway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future uploads. But my name is Ty Knott, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.